Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Gloria White and Annie coming to you from Utah, USA. Today I will be in the book of Zechariah in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible, chapter 6 and 7 I will read. And I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked and behold... There came four chariots out from between two mountains, and the mountains were mountains of bronze. With the first chariot were red horses, and with the second chariot black horses, and with the third chariot white horses, and in the fourth chariot grizzled or dappled and bay horses, or strong steeds. Then I answered and said unto the angel that talked with me, What are these, my lord? And the angel answered and said unto me, These are the four spirits of the heavens, which go forth from their station before the Lord of all the earth. The black horses which are therein, or with their chariot, go forth into the north country, and the white go forth after them. So the black and the white horses went to the north. And the grizzled, or the dappled, go forth toward the south country. And the bay horses, which are the strong steeds, went forth, and sought to go that they might walk to and fro through the earth. And he said, Get thee hence, walk to and fro through the earth. So they walked to and fro through the earth. And then cried up he upon me, or he called me, he called to me, and spake unto me, saying, Behold, these that go toward the north country have quieted or appeased my spirit in the north country. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Take of them of the captivity, or receive the gift from the captives, even of Heldiah and of Tobijah and Jediah, which are come from Babylon, and come thou the same day, and go into the house of Josiah, the son of Zephaniah. Then take silver and gold, and make crowns, or elaborate crowns, and set them upon the head of Joshua, the son of Josh, Josh, uh, Ditch, Ditch, the high priest. And speak unto him, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Behold, the man whose name is the branch, and he shall grow up out of his place, and he shall build the temple of the Lord. Even he shall build the temple of the Lord, and he shall bear the glory, and shall sit and rule upon his throne. And he shall be a priest upon his throne, and the council of peace shall be between them, or in both offices. And the crowns, or the elaborate crown, shall be to Helam, and to Je Tobijah, and Jediah, and to Hen, the son of Zephaniah for a memorial in the temple of the Lord. And they that are far are far off shall come and build in the temple of the Lord. And ye shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. And this shall come to pass, if ye will diligently obey the voice of your Lord, of the Lord your God, if you will diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. Chapter 7 
And it came to pass in the fourth year of King Darius that the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah in the fourth day of the ninth month, even in Cheshlu. That's a month on the Hebrew calendar. When they, or the people, had sent unto the house of God, or Bethel, Bethel, the house of God, Cherezer and Rejim Melech and their men to pray before the Lord. And to speak unto the priest which were in the house of the Lord of hosts, and to the prophets, saying, Should I weep in the fifth month, separating myself or fasting? as I have done these so many years. Then came the word of the Lord of hosts unto me, saying, Speak unto all the people of the land, and to the priest, saying, When ye fasted and mourned in the fifth and seventh month, even those seventy years, did ye at all fast unto me, even unto me? And when did and when ye did eat, and when ye did drink, did not ye eat of for yourselves and drink for yourselves? Should ye not hear the words of the Lord hath the words which the Lord hath cried by the former prophets, when Jerusalem was inhabited and in prosperity and in the cities thereof round about her? which men inhabited the south and the plain. Could you hear me when when everything was going great? Could you really, could you hear me? Or were, you, were what were you thinking about me when you were eating, when you were a captive for seven years? Did you mourn and fast for me? Should you not hear the words of the Lord hath cried by the former prophets when Jerusalem was inhabited and in prosperity and the cities thereof round about her when men inhabited the south and the plain? And the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment or justice, and show mercy and compassions or loving kindness every man to his brother. And oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor. And let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. Or plan any kind of evil against your brother in your heart. Now, this is a recurring theme. Oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor. God has been adamant about this. God is the same yesterday, today, and he'll be the same tomorrow. He intends for us to care for the widows, the orphans, to be kind to the strangers, and to take care of the poor. Okay, but they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Yea, they made their hearts as an adamant stone or flint, a very hard stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Therefore it is come to pass that as he cried or proclaimed and they would not hear, so they cried or proclaimed, and I would not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. But I scattered them with a whirlwind among all the nations whom they knew not. Thus the land was desolate after them. 
that no man passed through nor returned, for they laid the pleasant land desolate. That was God's punishment. They wouldn't hear. This is what he's saying. You know, you wouldn't listen to me when things were going good and you started turning away. And now I'm not going to listen to you. Wow. Good lesson. Huh? <laughs> Pay attention. And as always, I love you.